Hey there, everyone. It's Thackard, and welcome back to more of Scoso's Adventures through Star Wars Galaxies. So today, we're going to be doing a couple of the clone relic quests, so we're going to get started on one at least. Uh, last time we did the Avatar platform, so um, we're going to do a couple little things here. Specifically today, we are in... Uh, we are not in the show. We are down here in Derek. Specifically, we are in the cantina of Derek. We are going to be talking to Mort. Now, Mort is going to start us on one of the coolest quests, I think, because it gives you an awesome little item, which is the clone armor quest. So let's get started. I'm a bit busy here. This glass is only uh, is the only friend I need. Oh, I'm sorry. What about... I was going to get you another friend, but I guess not. Well, one can never have too many friends, I guess. Bartender, another one of these. So I assume this friend comes with a price? I'm just curious. You look familiar. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure I do. Considering I used to have more brothers than the, there's a pla uh, people on this planet. You're a clone? Guilty. Never meant a clone before. Do you work for the Empire? I was part of liberating the galaxy and bringing our glorious Empire to power. Nowadays, I just drink. That's not possible. I thought you all died young. See this arm? Well, it's not the only thing that uh, that's not flesh in my body. I would have been better off dying with the rest of them, though. Why do you say that? What can I do? I'm a washed-up soldier that knows nothing else except drinking. I'm getting really good at that. My life has no purpose. That can't be true. What happened to you? I was bred to be part of one of the clone trooper commando squadrons. Elite four-man teams causing disruptions behind enemy lines. During the battles of Kashyyyk, I and my squadron had one such mission, taking out a commando bunker deep inside enemy territory. You're really interested in this? Yes, please go in. The mission was going well. It was the first time we've done something like this. We blew up the bunker. We're on our way to, the, uh, to be extracted when the enemy found us out. We notified command that we were under attack, but would still be on time uh, at extraction. We worked our way towards it but quick, uh, as quickly as we could, dispatching pursuers by the dozens. As we approached the extraction point, we saw our LAAT take off. There was barely any enemy left, and none at the extraction point. But our commander saw us as expendable clones, would rather lose us than risk a career. What did you do? We tried to make it back towards our own ranks. We were deep inside Kishik's forest. Let me tell you, those forests are deep. Over the next few weeks, I experienced the deaths of three of my brothers to wildlife, enemies, and nature itself. I thought clones didn't have feelings. So did our commanders, but let me tell you, kid, I felt pain so strong that it could have been my own as my brothers fell. So how did you eventually end up here? For months, maybe even years, I was living in the forest of Kashyyyk. During a fight over food with one of the monstrous creatures on the planet, before I could put it down, I lost my arm. I just laid down on my back and thought, well, that was it. But it wasn't. No, I was lying there, bleeding to death. A research expedition happened upon me. They saved my life, but had ulterior motives. Dr. Ortoz, the leader of the expedition, saw me as the perfect lab animal and started experimenting on me. And I thought my life was tough. Eventually, I regained my strength uh, though, and uh, put an end to the experiments permanently. I managed to sneak onto a freighter and make my way to here. And that about wraps up my life story. Amazing. And you have been here ever since? Well, I did try to track down uh, my old commander for some good old revenge a few years ago. But that time, by that time, he was a high-ranking officer in the Empire, and I had no chance to get to him, so I gave up. Does he still live? Yes, he's retired now, but not much easier to get to, especially in my state. 
From what I've managed to find out, he's running a racket smuggling Imperial weapons. He can get a hold uh, He's running a racket smuggling Imperial weapons that he can get a hold of without with old contacts, selling them to anyone who's willing to pay. Why don't you turn him in? If the Emperor found out I was alive, well, let's just say I wouldn't stay that way. Besides, I don't have any evidence. Uh, say I had some time to look in his... Where would I look? You are something else, friend. <laughs> if nothing else, you uh, you brought me a smile to my face uh, for the first time... In, uh, for, th for the first time in... Well, maybe for the first time. If you're serious, though, he's running the operations out of a hotel in Kareen on Naboo. His name is Morkov. I will look into it. One another? Actually, I think I'm fine. Get, uh, I'm not getting my hopes up, but if you actually going to check uh, into it, I wish you good luck and thank you. Usually, if there's something, it's in one of these back corners. The last time we found a uh, an instrument in this area, so I'm going to go take a look again. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. It was worth a worth a check. Oh, there we go. Hello. How may I assist? I'm here on behalf of my master, Jabba the Hutt. Another one? Can you please tell your master to stick to the same person doing business? It's getting a little tiresome doing background checks on all of you. A lot of people on master service have a short lifespan. Heh. <laughs> I suppose that would be true. Never mind on the background check. What does the Hutt want this time? Hmm. Uh. A master requires one standard tie and five crates of E11s. Yeah. The tie will take a little work. Going to need a week for that. The crates I can have ready for you when you arrive at the usual location. Usual location? Did they not tell you anything? My information was very sparse. I'd say, very well, there is an empty building in, uh, located across the, from the hotel in Deja Peak. My courier will meet you upstairs in that building. Okay, so we are headed to Deja Peak here on Naboo. Said warehouse across from the hotel in Deja Peak? Is that what they said? Or he said? The abandoned building, yes, hotel. So there's the hotel. Must be over here somewhere. Is this it? Finally, I don't like waiting. Where are the creds? Creds? Yeah, credits, money. Why well, don't have any? Dangerous logs. The courier had on him logs of all his and Markov's transactions for the last year. There should be one more. Needs return to watch.
Yeah, I've had this monstrous head cold the last couple of days. So, I have like stupid watery eyes and everything else. So, my contacts have been bothering me and everything else. So, you see me leaning into the screen to read this relatively small text. Or if I sound funky or if I sound snorky and congested. Well, I am. I am all those things. I uh, usually record my episodes over the weekend for the coming week. But uh, fortunately, I was under the weather. So I'm trying to get them recorded tonight to be released so you can watch them tomorrow. So, a little out of it. There you are. How are things going? Quite well. I've received these logs from Markov's business. Looks through that data book. Reading the log. This is really good, Skoso. I don't pretend to understand everything that is on here, but I bet that the Rebel Alliance would be very interested in some of these transactions, especially the ones that show him selling low quality and even faulty equipment to them. He must be responsible for hundreds of deaths on their part. I bet you were right. What are you going to do? I'm going to find the right person in the Alliance to show this to. Revenge will finally be mine. Come back in a bit. I'm back. Hi there, Scoso. Have you had a chance to do something with those logs? Uh, oh, I, I get it. I get it. Do. Word of an attack on a rebel base on Dentum that left it all but destroyed. Maybe there's some high-ranking rebel uh, still there that would be interesting. Okay. So we're going to Dentuin. We're going to find our rebels on Dentuin. It's been a long time since I've been out to the uh, rebel base on Dentuin. I don't think I've ever done it in on a Legends. Last time I was probably out here was some point when on live when I was doing what the theme parks or something. Oh no, it was, it was probably one of the. Uh, it was probably during one of the uh, flying things or pilot things. Okay, here we are. The rebel base. Dentuin. To be perfectly honest, nice little sized rebel base. Ooh, I just got the thing for it down here. I wonder if there's anything else I can collect. Rebel General, can I talk? Oh, Mon Mothma, we can talk to you. Really? Ready to get back to some real work? Right. Mon Mothma is still here in this busted rebel base. Rebel pilot train. Man, rebel pilot train. Tenants. Leah. Leah Organa. Yes, how may I help you, soldier? I bring you grave news, your highness. Like we don't have enough of those. I have uh, come across logs that show uh, that show the traitor. Okay. Who might that be? The arms dealer, Morkov. He's been selling you faulty weapons. Let me see that, please. I've seen many men and women die from accidents and malfunctions. What we thought to be mistreatment on the soldier's part now turns out to be the intention of this monster. What would you have me do, your highness? I don't care what it takes, but he has to be punished for these inhumane crimes. You know where to find him? Can you do that, soldier? Of course, your highness. He won't get away this time. Good. Any more information you recover from him, 
I'd be interested in it as well. It will help us track down what he sold us. Good luck, soldier, and thank you. Many men and women owe you their lives. It's a trap. It might be a trap. This all might be a trap. All right. Let's go bring some vengeance down upon this dude's head. You didn't even want to talk. Fine with me. I don't know who you are or what your deal is, but you'll will pay your life for what you've done. Yeah. I don't think so. We have to go back to Leia. All right. We now have the data pad. So we are going to return to Leia. Okay. okay. We have returned to speak to Leia one last time to show her the data pad to relay the message that the bad guy who sold them the busted weapons is no longer in this galaxy. Good to see you again, soldier. How did it go? I got a hold of the scum and his logs. And Morkov, let's just say that his business is closed permanently. I understand. We will use these logs to track down any of the equipment purchased from him. Thank you again, soldier. You have done the Alliance a great service and saved many lives. And see me later, soldier. I have to go over this with Akbar. Okie dokie. So let's go return to Mort and tell him the good news. Okay, we have once again come back to Derek to inform Mort that revenge has been taken upon his former commander. Good to see you, Skoso. How are things coming along? Morkov finally got what he deserved. Are you sure? What happened? I went to the Alliance. They got a bit upset. They had him killed? Sort of. They asked me to deal with it. After all these years, I can't believe it. When you went on, uh, you went on your way to the Alliance, I didn't truly expect to actually get my revenge, but you proved me wrong, my friend. It may sound bloodthirsty, but after what that scum did to me, and probably thousands of others, he deserved it. Trust me. I agree, or I wouldn't have gone through with this. I couldn't possibly repay what I owe you, but I did save something that you might find useful. If you're interested, I still have my old combat armor. I don't need it anymore. I will be honored to put it to use. So, what will you do now? I'll just finish living my life. Maybe come back on the drinking some. Try to straighten myself out. Sounds good, my friend. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Skoso. Stop by someday. Let me know how th things are going. Well, we have received the Katarn armor. So this is the uh, clone armor. And it's actually pretty good stuff. Uh, as for, you know, mid-tier battle armor, it's actually really, really good. And you can do this quest easily in your 40s. And probably in your mid thirties was, it isn't actually that hard. The hardest thing, the hardest part of it is the fight with the two droidicas, not droidicas, the two, uh, uh, B2 battle droids with, uh, with the dude. And there are three different types. Um, if you are rebel aligned, you get the Katarn armor, which is the, uh, red colored, if you get the, uh, if you are imperial aligned, you get a black and green colored armor, which is really nice. It's what I use on my, uh, on my 
Xenia Kia on my commando. And then if you are not aligned with either in your neutral, you get the white and blue armor of the 501st. So it's pretty awesome. It's actually one of the cooler quests. And then you also get a hologram based on whose faction you work for, either an X-Wing for the Rebels, a Thai for the Imperials, or the YT-1300 hologram or uh, neutral. So, yeah, it is one pretty solid quest. All right, next time we will do some more of these uh, clone relic quests. See you guys later on. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.